is where your customers go to return things to you, all right? And Amazon makes this really, really easy for them, as they should. Explains it step by step what to do. This is the .com.au site. Uh, very, very easy. So Amazon makes that really, really easy for them to do and then tracks and manages the whole thing. Now, that's all good. Customer, easy. You, as a seller, a little bit more complicated because what will happen then is Amazon will put that item that's been returned back into your inventory under something called commingling, all right? So they will automatically, it's a default, resell that product for you. Now, you do not want them to do that. That's bad. I will tell you from, from my own experience, the easiest way to get poor reviews on Amazon is sending somebody a product that they think is brand new that's actually been used. You can imagine how you'd feel if that happened to you. So, um, and Amazon does not do a good job of checking either. So, do not let them do that, all right? So, the settings for that, without logging into my account and showing you, but the settings for that, it's in uh, settings, and then go to fulfillment by Amazon, so FBA, and then you want automated, unfulfillable, and you just, it's a checkbox. You just check the checkbox uh, to, to stop it happening, okay? And that's all there is to it. So it's actually a very, very simple process, Oliver. Amazon makes it really, really easy for them. And uh, be careful because Amazon will just try and resell the product for you. And I don't think that's a good idea. I use those products instead. I get them shipped to me or I get them shipped to a, um, like a third party warehouse and I use them as promotional products for reviewers and things like that. That's what I do with them, all right? So um, you can do the same. But don't let Amazon take care of that for you. They don't check. And uh, it's easy to get bad reviews and that's the last thing you want. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.